What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another premiere. Thank you very much for taking the time out and watching my premiere. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I posted in my community con uh, community section, I wanted to do a video addressing the uh, DSP, the Tractor Sphere drama that's going on. And I just wanted to give my thoughts on it uh, and essentially move on from this. So big ups everyone. So first of all, I wanted to just highlight all of the amazing DSP Detractor channels. Big up to everyone here. Big up for all the hard work. And if, if I didn't add you, my apologies. I just didn't have enough space. But you know you're in my heart and I'm thinking about every single one of you guys. So big ups. Alright, so essentially here my first screen, my first PowerPoint uh, slide here is Detractors. Who is just as bad as Phil? Now the reason why I want to talk about this is a boy... Pastor Eric put a video out not too long ago, and he's made various uh, comments and posts and stuff regarding uh, DSP content creators that he labels just as bad as Phil. And he gives some examples, mainly people that just clip his content, just post it and don't do anything special with it, don't make any edits. Uh, people that, quote unquote, what he says, spend their whole lives following DSP. Now, there is no one here, Pastor, that follows Phil. 24 7 so for you to say that is just not cool it, it, it's not cool you're, you're basically disrespecting everyone in this community by saying shit like that so that that's the first thing second i can speak to myself just like i highlighted here you see all of the dsp content creators out here right that i have here every single one of them do something different myself i clip i do commentaries i do restreams i do sh i'm a streamer i gameplay podcast compilations you see all all of these streamers, right? I mean, you see all of these content creators right here. Every one of them brings a unique talent to the DSP detractor community. And for you to sit there and say any of these people are like Phil is pretty shitty. It's pretty shitty. And the problem I'm having is that you're being passive aggressive with this shit. You go on your videos, you go on your comments, you make these statements and yet don't name names. You're being passive aggressive. And then when someone approaches you, and says hey are you talking about me you say no you know and i can i can speak for personally i've I reached out to you regarding you know this bullshit before and you said no duty i'm not talking about you and i took you for your you know your word and i said all right cool we squash it is over with the only reason why i'm ha rehashing this shit now is because you know I, i'm getting bombarded with dms over this crap and i'm getting annoyed by it so i figured i'd just have my I, i'll say my piece and just move on. But like I said, every single content creator right here brings something unique to the table. And for you to say that any of these people, you know, are worse as Phil, you know, if you're going to say a statement like that, I think you need to bring receipts and you need to actually show proof and name names. If you don't, then you shouldn't say shit like that. that that's what I have to say on that. My next thing, who is scared of Phil? So, I posted over here in this section here, you see a nice little comment that you made here uh, about, I don't know, maybe 19, uh, it was a bit about go, but you've been saying it over and over again. Essentially pointing out the fact that you claim that detractors are scared of Phil. And I'm telling you right now, flat out, there is nobody, nobody in the DSP detractor community that's scared, that's scared of Phil. That's utter bullshit. That's bullshit. Just because we decide not to put our faces out there on our screen, you know, as a screen profile like you, just because we don't put our personal business out there like you do, doesn't mean that we're scared. You need to understand that it's not Phil that's the problem, right? You have all you have other uh, sites that actually follow Phil, they follow drama, they follow YouTubers, they follow Twitter people, and when they get their information. They bombard them and harass them nonstop to the point where they threaten their lives to the point where they send they swap them those type of things. This is a hobby for me. I enjoy doing this. I like having a laugh. I like clowning Phil. I like pumping out content for people. Th that's what it is for me, and that's what it is for most of these people, right? So to put your personal business out there in your profile, no, it's stupid. I highlight the, the highlighted the people in yellow right here that actually have shown their faces and big ups to them for doing it. That's their prerogative. That's their business. Now, the vast majority of the people have it and that's their business. That's their priority for you to actually, you know, call them out for that is, is lame and stupid as shit. And it's not fucking cool. It, it's pretty shitty. 
And I think you owe people an apology for that bullshit. You you trying to, you know, uh, uh, die on that hill and post shit like this with a meme, you know, with a picture. No one is fucking buying it. No one is buying it because most people, the vast majority of people understand that, you know, what happens when you put your personal fucking business out there? Look at the shit that happens to Phil. Look at the shit that happens to Wings. Look at the shit that happens to other, you know, content creators, detractors, and how they essentially had their lives ruined because of this bullshit. I'm telling you right now, this bullshit isn't worth it for me. So I'm not putting my personal business out there. And if you don't like it, tough. That's your problem. But again, you can't gatekeep my content and you can't gatekeep anybody's content. If they decide to run their channel with the way they see fit, that's their business. If you decide you want to run your channel your way, the way you're doing it, that's cool. More power too. I'm never going to come to you and say, hey, pastor, why are you showing your face? Why are you showing your face? It's, it's, it's dumb of you to do that. No, you want to do that? That's on you. It's your business. It's your prerogative. But for you to sit there and post shit like this and basically claim people are scared, that's lame as fuck. And I think you owe people an apology and you really need to stop saying that. All right, <clears throat> this is the big one here. This is the one that annoys me the most, and I'm going to dedicate a little bit more time to this one. So I want to play something real quick that you uh, published not too long ago. But how are you going to point out the, the bad that Phillip's doing when you're doing stuff just as equally bad or worse? And guess what? On good authority, if any one of y'all y'all want to get all gully and, be, and try to get greasy, I know which one's are sponsoring Philip. I know which ones are paying Philip, part of the membership program, giving him his tips. I, that that is what it is. They shouldn't be ashamed. But if it come out that they're feeding him because he's giving them a job, it's gonna look bad. I don't feel bad to say that. That's just the reality. Yeah, you want to hate me? Hate me for telling the truth. That that only makes sense. If I was lying, that's one thing. I'm telling the facts. Okay, that was his very words. I didn't I, I didn't alter this. You can find this on his videos. This is him claiming that he knows which content creators are pay picks who are actually paying Phil a salary or a cut of whatever they make on the detractor stuff. I'm going to tell you flat out, uh, Pastor, that's bullshit. That is a straight out lie, and, and you need to apologize for that. I think you were talking out your ass right there, honestly. And if you're not talking out your ass, you need to show receipts. You need to show receipts. If you show receipts and you show proof and it becomes, you know, and it shows that it's true, I will apologize and say, you know what? You were right. I was wrong. But I'm guaranteeing you that I am completely right. No one on this list right here that's worth their salt is paying DSP one dollar. Why would anyone pay DSP anything? Explain that to me. For you to sit on your video and basically proclaim that you know for a fact you have it on authority that people are paying Phil, if that's true, you need to provide your you need to provide receipts and proof and name names because if someone is paying DSP, that shit needs to come out. That shit needs to come out. The problem is that you're not providing receipts, so what you're doing is you're sowing doubt. You're sowing doubt in people's minds and saying, "Oh, well, who is it? Who is Pastor talking about?" Who is who? What proof does Pastor have? Who is it? Is it Aqua? Is it Duty? Is it Snort? Is it Chill? And that causes a big problem in the community. I'm gonna go back to the Wings community, the Wings of Redemption community. I'm gonna give you one specific person about Lummox. Lummox pumps out some amazing content. He's been doing some great quality content. But a few years back, somebody that was jealous of him put out the lie that he was paying uh wings he was giving him a check so that he wouldn't copy strike him and that was a flat out lie it never happened and right here i'm gonna tell you right now every single one of these people right here in that list you see that list right there names none of them pay phil none of them give him one dime none of them and phil has never even mentioned that anyone pays it when it comes to the when it comes to the conversation about uh money and copy strikes and all that what does phil say every single time i can't do anything about it i don't have money i can't sue them what am i going to get anyway it's pointless it's stupid i don't care that they restreet i don't care what they do now one time did phil ever mention or say yeah i get a cut 
from, you know, piece of piece. Or I get a cut from Almighty Tevin. Or, you know, I work in secret with Mary Kay. He has never said any of that. And I'm calling bullshit on this. That is utter bullshit. And really, you need to stop saying it. If you got proof, put it out there. Put out, put Like I said, put your receipts out there. If you don't, don't ever say that again. Because what you're going to do is you're going to sow doubt in the community. You're just going to sow doubt in the community. And if that's your angle, that you want to just sow doubt, then you know what? You, you need to stop. You need to just go away and do something else. Because this isn't the community for you. You know what I mean? So I would appreciate it if you just stop saying that. Or if you do have proof, publish it, show it, say who it is. Say who it is. If not, keep it to yourself. And I'm just being straight up with you there. I'm just being straight up with you. The, the main, the, the, the fact that you sat there and you said that you have it on good authority or good authority or whatever the case you, the language you use. That and you know the names of the people that are paying Phil that detract for him, that detract on him, and you don't state who it is, is garbage. That's straight up garbage. And you deserve all of the flack for that. You deserve all of the comments and people just coming at you for that. Because it's not cool. It's not cool. If I knew something, I would publish it, put it out there, and say, it's this person. If I didn't want to say that person's name, then I wouldn't even bring up the issue. I wouldn't even I wouldn't say one fucking word about it. I just let it be. But you made the accusation, so it behooves you to actually show the proof and show your receipts. That's all I gotta say on that. But Pastor, that one particularly pissed me off that you said that. Because I know for a fact that it's not true. It's not true. You were talking out of your ass, and it's not true. All right, duty's perspective. <clears throat> gatekeeping. What is gatekeeping? Gatekeeping is defined as when someone takes it upon themselves to decide who does or does not have access or rights to a community or an identity. Pastor, when you come on your when you come on to your videos and you start commenting on other content creators, you know, and kind of, you know, talking essentially talking trash about them. That, that's what you're doing. You're talking trash about them. You don't like how they run their business. You don't like how they run their channel. That's considered gatekeeping. That's considered gatekeeping. Nobody within the DSP community, detractor community, has the right to tell any other person how to run their channel. If you want to come to me and give me some suggestions, and you know, within you know, you want to, you want to, you know, you you looking out for me. That's one thing. That's cool. That, that I'm. I, hey, I'm. I'm. I always welcome that. But for you to sit there on your streams and gatekeep shit and basically say, you know, people are doing this, people are clipping channels, people are pumping out eight or ten videos, they follow Phil, uh, they they have no lives. Uh, if Phil were to leave the internet tomorrow, they wouldn't have a job. You know, those are things that are not cool. They're not they're not cool. You're gatekeeping because what you're trying to do is you're trying to you're, you, you're essentially trying to alter their behavior by talking shit about them. You're trying to alter what they're doing to fit whatever narrative or whatever however you want them to run the channel and that's not cool you don't have the power over it i don't have the power over it none of us do so just and again i'm not gatekeeping here and telling you how to run your channel but this is just a little bit of advice stop gatekeeping stop trying to tell people how to run their channel i ran into this when i when i first started you know i had someone that was helping me they know they're no longer in the community they, they don't even they're not even on youtube anymore they were helping me out and what they were doing was every five minutes, they kept telling me, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And I finally said, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. Stop gatekeeping me. And that person kind of ghosted me and I never heard from them again, which is fine. It's all good. You know what I mean? But yeah, nobody within this community should be telling anybody how to run their channel. And exactly from me to you, I I'm not telling you how to run your channel. I'm essentially just giving you some advice to avoid some of these problems. I know you say you're confrontational and, 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 you know, you just, that's just your personality. But if you want to continue doing this in this community and you want to be cool with that confrontation, then that's what you're going to get. Passive aggressive behavior. Passive aggression is a way of expressing negative feelings such as anger or annoyance indirectly instead of directly. Passively aggressive behavior leaves ambiguity and can sabotage relationships. 
When someone questions the person making the accusation, accusation, the accuser hits back with comments like, if the shoe fits, or I must have hit a nerve. Pastor, you know you say that all the time. You make an accusation, you don't mention names, someone hits back in the comment section, and your response is, I hit, must have hit a nerve, or if the shoe fits, or one of those out of the comment. Without, and, and not saying, my apologies, I wasn't talking about you, I was referencing someone else. But again, this passive aggressive nature that you seem to have keeps, you know, ha keeps occurring. You, you've had issues with me, snort, chill, um, piece of peace, aqua teal. Uh, I, I want to say detracted Dave, but I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't want to put it out there, but it just seems like you keep running into these, you know, you keep button heads with people because of this behavior, you know? And again, I'm not here to tell you how to run your channel. I'm not here to tell you to run your life. I'm just telling you that if you want to avoid some of this, you really need to stop the passive aggressiveness. If you want to say something, say it. My, all power to you. But again, you know, if you if you want to point to a specific person, you, you should point to that person. You should just say, you know what? Duty Streams does shitty editing. Okay, I do shitty editing. And I probably sit back and say, yep, you're right. My editing is craptastic. And I'd agree with you. But I sit there and say, hey, you know, at least he, there, he said my name. I know what he's talking about. I know who he's referencing. And I don't have to sit there and think, oh, he's talking about me. You know what I mean? So I, I'm all good with that. And I think most people are. Um, and then, you know, you hash it out, you talk it out, and then you move the fuck on. It's, 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 it's that simple. But when you, when, you're, when, you're, when you leave it, when you're ambiguous and you, and, and you don't name names, or you don't pri provide receipts. You just make statements like the one that you know who pays Phil. That's going to cause a lot of problems. People are going to bite back. I remember when you said that. I was pissed. I was going to come back at you and just say, why the fuck are you saying that? That's not true. That is not true. And I stand by the statement right now that that's not true. And unless you can provide some receipts, I will keep saying that that was a fucking lie. Until you provide receipts, I will then say... You know what? You were right. You were being truthful. I apologize for saying what I said. But until that moment, I'm fucking calling bullshit. No one within the DSP Detroit community is paying Phil. No one. And for you to say that, uh, I, I, it's not cool. You deserve everything you get for that statement. Lastly, show receipts. Show receipts. I'm big on showing receipts. If... If you're leveraging a charge, show your receipts. If you don't want to show your receipts, don't leverage the charge. Don't talk about it. Don't say anything. Let it lie. Let it be. If you're going to say something like, for example, you know who pays Phil, unless you're willing to show receipts, don't say it. Don't say it because people are going to come at you. And you, you, you lose respect. You also lose uh, credibility when you say stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I, the one thing I uh, the one thing I treasure is my credibility. Like, I don't get it right all the time. But when I get it wrong, I step up and say, yeah, I got that wrong. My apologies. I will try to do better. So, you know, just leaving that there. So anyway, that's all I got to say about this. Uh, I'm not going to make another video on it. I'm not even going to comment it. I'm not even going to say anything about it. It is what it is. If I hurt some people's feelings, my apologies. You can come back to me and talk to me. My DMs are always open. I'm willing to talk to anybody. I'm willing to chat about this. It is not a problem. Uh, but to be honest, you know, I, I just want to move on from this. You know, uh, Pastor Eric, I wish you the best. I wish everybody else the best. You know, you want to keep doing the things you want to do. Have at it. Everybody else, they want to do the things they want to do. Have at it. I, I just really need to. I just really would like this gatekeeping, passive aggressive, that that type of stuff. I would really like that to kind of go away. And and yeah, I, I think we would probably have a more peaceable community if that was the case. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.